Today we're going to make a desk out of plywood. This video is sponsored by Eero, which is an easy way to improve the Wi-Fi coverage in your home. I was able to install this system in just minutes, but I'll tell you a little bit more about that at the end of the video. I made this entire desk out of scrap pieces of plywood and some discarded old prototypes from previous projects. This panel made of two layers of glued and screwed together plywood was part of a sofa that didn't work out so well. So I just pulled out all the staple and removed the scraps of leather so they could use this piece as a desk. I was recently asked by a five-year-old why I don't make more things that look like spaceships. And surprisingly, I didn't really have a great answer for him. So for this project, I thought it'd be fun to break out the jigsaw and add a few curves to the piece. It was really fun not to have a set design in mind, but rather just grab scrap pieces and then try to make cool curved shapes out of them. It's also really nice to upgrade to a battery powered jigsaw because this way when you're doing these curves, the core doesn't keep getting coming around and getting in your way. There are a few straight cuts in this project though. I used my circular saw to rip some one and a half inch wide strips of plywood. These strips are gonna make a structural spine and are going to be screwed to the wall. To make the brackets that I can support the desk and shelves, I traced a line one and a half inches from the edge of a rectangular piece of plywood and then drew curved supports for the shelves above and below. I clamped the pieces firmly together and then cut them two at a time. I glued the one and a half inch wide strips together and then put these bracket pieces on the outside of those strips. I just attached the lower brackets. Now for the part where there's a shelf in between two brackets, I used some pieces of plywood to create a space so that the shelf would fit right in. While I was waiting for the glue to dry, I sanded the shelves and desk pieces with my orbital sander. This desk is going to be attached to the wall. So I used my center stud finder to make sure I had the location of the structural members behind the gypsum board. I used some saw horses to set the desktop at the appropriate height. And then I used my jigsaw to cut out notches that would accept the double wide strips of plywood. and checked to make sure that the desktop was level and then screwed the plywood supports through the gypsum board and into the studs behind it. I screwed the desktop to the supports and then screwed the brackets to the doubled up plywood strips. Now what good is a cool looking desk if your Wi-Fi is terrible? I used this Eero system and two additional beacons to provide powerful mesh Wi-Fi to every nook and cranny of my loft. It's really easy to install and set up and there's an app that guides you step by step throughout the process. I used the ethernet cord provided to plug my first Eero into my modem. I then plugged additional units around my loft to make sure that I'm getting consistent coverage. I plugged the beacons into stairwells at the upper and lower floors of the building so that I would get consistent coverage when I'm either on my roof deck or down in the driveway working on some new projects. This was a really easy project and I kind of like the retro futuristic Jetsons kind of aesthetic. If you're interested in purchasing your own Eero system, click on the link in the description box below and don't forget to use the promo code HOMEMADEMODERN to get free shipping. For more detailed instructions, check out our website. And if you want to see what I'm working on next, be sure to follow me on Instagram. We also have an entirely new channel that we're providing videos for, and that's called Dwell Made. I'll put a link to that in the description box below. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks. Bye.